YouTube star and actress 33 year old Stevie Ryan has hung herself. Stevie was known to have had debilitating depression and her death was ruled a suicide by hanging. Shortly before her death she posted on Twitter about the death of her grandfather and said, The man in my dreams will now only be in my dreams. I'll miss you forever. Many people believe that her grandfather's passing pushed her over the edge. Stevie even admitted on a podcast episode on her show Mentally Chill that she worried that this would send her into a deeper depression. Stevie also admitted in the episode that she was now off of her mood stabilizers because they were no longer working for her. Stevie Ryan became a YouTube sensation with her video series Little Loca, which she managed to move into a more mainstream media opportunity and had a weekly pop culture sketch show called Stevie TV on VH1, which ran for two seasons from March 2012 to 2013. Stevie is also linked to Drake Bell as they dated back in 2005 to 2006. About this, Bell tweeted, No, 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 I cannot believe this is happening. Please wake me up from this nightmare, Stevie Ryan. I love you and I will forever miss you. As news of her passing surfaced, fans paid their respect over social media. Depression is a serious issue that many people suffer with and not enough people understand. If you're struggling with depression, it's extremely important that you seek out help and talk to someone about it. If you're suffering from depression and don't feel like anyone you know would understand what's going on, then you can always call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Hey guys and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. Before we get started with today's stories, I just want to wish all of our American viewers a happy 4th of July. I hope all of you are having a great day. Let me know down in the comments what you're doing to celebrate. Alright, let's get into the news. Next, teen beauty queen live streams her own death. 16 year old Sofia Migurko and her 24 year old friend Daria Medvedetta were killed in a horrific car crash when the vehicle they were in spun out of control and crashed into a lamppost. The 16 year old died instantly following the collision, and Daria, who was behind the wheel, also died on her way to the hospital. During their drive, the two were live streaming. In the footage, you can see the two joking around and drinking. Then all of a sudden, the video turns black and you can hear them screaming as they collide with the post. As you guys know, this is the latest in a series of death on live streams on Facebook. About all of this, founder of Facebook Mark Zuckerberg had this to say. If we're going to build a safe community, we need to respond quickly. We're working to make these videos easier to report so we can take the right action sooner. Whether that's responding quickly when someone needs help or taking the post down. Our thoughts go to the girls families, but remember it's important to always drive responsibly and never drink and drive. Next, US hospital is treating a terminally ill child for free. This is 10 month old Charlie Gard, and this announcement came after Charlie's parents said they had been given more time before his life support is switched off. Back on Thursday of last week, the couple lost their legal battle when the European Court of Human Rights ruled his life support to be switched off. So they wanted to take Charlie to America for pioneering his treatment. The couple managed to raise 1.3 million pounds to take him to America. Donald Trump even tweeted out this message, if we can help little hashtag Charlie guard, as per our friends in the UK and the Pope, we would be delighted to. And then just hours later, an American hospital made the offer for free treatment. Charlie is being treated for a rare genetic condition. This causes muscle weakness along with brain damage. I couldn't even imagine what this family must be going through. It's absolutely heartbreaking, but at least now they will get to spend a little bit of extra time with their baby. Next, North Korea has successfully fired its first intercontinental ballistic missile. And fun fact, this missile has the potential to reach US mainland. This missile launch acts as a delivery system for nuclear weapons. It was overseen by dictator Kim Jong Un and flew about 578 miles for 40 minutes. And North North Korea has previously threatened America with a super mighty preemptive strike and an active H-bomb. Also if that wasn't enough, the director of the Defense Intelligence Agency has said that it's inevitable that a North Korean nuclear missile will hit the US mainland. However, Donald Trump doesn't seem too worried as he tweeted, North Korea has just launched another missile. Does this guy have nothing better to do with his life? Hard to believe that South Korea and Japan will put up with this much longer. Perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Donald Trump has vowed the era of patience with North Korea is now over and plans to meet Kim Jong Un with force. Next, Fantastic Beasts 2 has started filming and some of the plot details have been released. This is the second film in the five movie series and it explains the wizarding world, moving from the original Fantastic Beasts setting in New York to London and Paris and promises some surprising nods to the Harry Potter series that will delight fans of the books and film series. Warner Brothers have said that JK Rowling wrote the screenplay for the film, which opens in 1927, a few months after Newt helped to unveil and capture the infamous dark wizard, Gellert Grindelwald. However, as promised, Gellert has made a dramatic escape and has been gathering more followers to his cause. And the only one who may be able to stop him is the wizard he once called his dearest friend, Albus Dumbledore. Now aside from the plot reveal, what's really exciting is that Johnny Depp will be playing Gillert, and Jude Law is playing the young Albus Dumbledore. This Fantastic Beasts sequel will explore 
explore the falling out between the two great wizards, with an update on the original book recently teasing the connection between them. Fantastic Beasts 2 will be released in cinemas on November 16, 2018. Next, Ed Sheeran reveals that trolls are why he quit Twitter. Ed can't seem to escape the trolls, and due to the constant abuse online, he's quit Twitter. After continuously rude comments, after closing Glastonbury a couple weeks ago, where people were accusing Ed of using a backing track, Ed said that the rude comments would ruin his day. He said, I've actually come off Twitter completely. I can't read it. I go on and there's nothing but people saying mean things. Twitter's a platform for that. One comment ruins your day. But that's why I've come off of it. The head for me has been trying to work out why people dislike me so much. People don't seem to understand that cyberbullying is a real thing and it can hurt people. Cyberbullies try and tear others down. But to be honest, cyberbullies are just sad people begging for attention because they are lonely, pathetic people who hide behind their computer screen and have nothing else better to do with their time. Well, on that note, that's all the stories I have for you guys today. Please try and be kind to each other. Honestly, there's enough hate in the world. It doesn't need any more of it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.